Welcome to the season finale of the update. Oh wait, I'm being told series finale. Really? No one else saw fit to take over this sinking ship? Oh well. Captain Anchor, reporting here to continue the update's plunge into, well, we're plunging into something. Thank you all so much for watching. Switching gears, Boston Strong, you know the phrase. In the aftermath of the Boston Marathon bombings, the city came together to show this country that Americans are stronger than the attacks levied against us. One year later, runners from across the country participated in the Boston Marathon. Leading up to this year's event, a mysterious backpack left unattended sent the police force into action. Turned out to be someone's sick joke. In that year, though, a lot has changed in being prepared for when it isn't a joke. Clearly, there may have been other things that could have occurred, things that now would be done that weren't done at that time. But as this world evolves, that as much as you try to anticipate every eventuality, you're never going to be able to do that. A lot of it is still going to be, unfortunately, hindsight. It was one of the first instances of the lone wolf, if you will, the, uh, uh, the inspired uh, actor. We had been talking about concerns about lone wolf for a number of years, the growing concern of that type of activity rather than a repeat of a 9-11 type of event. So uh, it was really confirmation of the validation of the concerns that we had about that potential new form of terror. Preparedness and prevention are now the key goals, albeit a swift reaction by police will also help. But to me, it wasn't the short-term reaction that was the most impressive thing about Boston. Boston has risen up from carnage, from death, from darkness to, to the most nauseating type of, of attack on a civilized society and, a, and an event that brings people together. They've risen from that. And, and the victims of that, their families, the whole Boston community has reminded us once again of the message of Easter. Life is stronger than death. Hope is stronger than despair. And we're not going to let this evil, we're not going to let this evil uh, destroy us. Life goes on and probably stronger and grittier than before because we've come through that darkness. The city is strong because the people in it are strong. It's the same as anywhere in America or the world. Where the people are strong, good things happen in the face of evil. I felt obligated to tell everyone of the terrible events that happen in the world, but even through those, something stronger emerges, humanity. When we come back, the former host of the update, Ryan Banowitz, drops by to berate me for ruining the show, or something like that.